everyone, this is Ethan for ethanstutorials.com. Uh, this tutorial is going to be on how to um, make overlays for live video and then uh, stream them with high quality. So, first open up um, Adobe Photoshop. Now you're going to need two programs in this you're going to need Adobe Photoshop L or Adobe Photoshop I'm using Elements and you're going to need a program called VidBlaster which you can see the icon for down here to download it go to vidblaster.com and you can if you go to the forums you can um download a free trial that lasts forever but it um has a watermark that it puts on the video so um first once you have Photoshop opened up, open up Vid Blaster and wait up. Okay. Now I'll click use trial version. Because I don't have the product key. Okay. So you can see I have my window up. It's just loading real fast. Okay. Now basically this program's like sort of and um so you can add overlays so here's one here's another one and here's another one and i'm going to show you how to make um this green one right here it's really easy but first what you need to do is go to video resolution and you can see where it shows your resolution mine is 384 by 288 so i can go into uh, photoshop and make with pixels make it sorry 384 to 88 okay now what you need to do is grab the selection tool sorry create a new layer and go across the bottom like this make a rectangle at the bottom find your gradient tool click on this and then go to foreground to transparent. You can see I have red here. I'm going to make that um, a green. And I'm going to pull this over here. Okay. Now I'm going to pull the gradient way, way over to the side of the screen. So it's like this. So you can see the bottom part is done. And this will be, when you have your video up, this will be transparent. So you can see whatever's happening in your video right in here. So now I'm going to go to File, Open, and I already have this file, uh, Pictures equals Terms, I'm going to open up this file. Okay, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to drag this in, because I already have it pre-made. I'm going to press W for the Magic Wand tool, select the white, delete it, press Control D to deselect. And now I'm going to put this over here, but first I have to make it smaller. A little too small. That's good. And now what you can do is you can add text if you want, but in VidBlaster you can add your own text too. So I like to leave it blank so I can put on whatever I want. Looking for my files. Okay. Overlays. I'm going to go to name this 2. For some reason, I don't know why. And then click Save. Okay. Okay, now you go to um, make sure you have vid video overlay. If you don't have one of these boxes, go to Modules, Add, and you can go down here to Video Overlay. So now what I'm going to do is. Um, click open and then you can see it popped up in overlays but if you need to find the file you can just click this and you can find all your files so I can click to open and there you go so I, uh, off and on and you can, um, I can there's my screen sort of you can sort of see that 
So that is how you make a basic overlay. So check out um, ethanstutorials.com for uh, the, this tutorial and other tutorials. And check out my blog at ethan-ling.com for um, my blog posts and stuff like that, technology news. And, and you can follow me on Twitter. My uh, Twitter address is Ethan Ling, so pretty easy to remember. So thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Once we hit 50 subscribers, I'm doing a special video. We're at 48 right now, two more. Thank you.